you get up and howl about America and democracy. There is no America. There is no democracy. We no longer live in a world of nations and ideologies. The world is a college of corporations, inexorably determined by the immutable bylaws of business. The world is a business. And I have chosen you to preach this evangel. Fuck you little credit card scam and jewelry stealing, crack selling, liquor store robbing motherfuckers. <laughs> Shout to the homies, Carnegie, OG, Willie Randolph Hearst, Baruch, Rockefeller, the real Rockefeller, my main bitch, Leona, part a little Louis XIII, Scott Rothstein, Jack Abramoff, hold your head, my yeah. real child niggas, let's uh, get this money. I spent my day pepping America overseas, pension for the workers, nigga, please, embezzlement, etiquette, private settlement, I'm better with Confederate rhetoric from my mansion in Connecticut, foreclosure that closed out the tenement, I twist words like a speech impediment, I hope you got good credit, bitch, if not. Better get a new job with benefits While I play golf with niggas and get cheddar with New money buys brand new carrots My old money bunch of great grandparents You got grills in your mouth, I ain't mad at ya I own every gold mine in South Africa Thanks baby, you made me a billion Plus I own a building But each one of my children's children That's the shit Snort coke in the whip, Miss USA sucking my dick Yeah, what? Fuck the law, cause real jailers for suckers I go to country club prison, you dumb motherfuckers I am the one percent What it do, folks? Permanent Patriot over here, XO Politics. Um, I'll just get right into it. So, we're checking out this one here Human Elite. These are the banksters, the Illuminati. Attempt to negotiate cessation. Of SSP Alliance disclosure in latest conference. Update on the latest conference negotiations between the Secret Space Program Alliance and the Human Committee of 200 Elites. Uh, do I even have to go through who the Committee of 200 is? I can tell you that none of us are among them. So, and folks, a lot of times when I show you these videos, especially going through them step by step like this, this is my first time seeing them too. Because there's been, I mean, for years with this whole Mars thing, I completely forgot about it. Because I used to, I used to tell people, because I heard it one day, I know, knew I heard it. And so I kept telling people it. And they were like, where did you hear that? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> and uh, and then like four years or some shit went by. And then just out of the blue, I, I heard it one day on another show. Just dumb luck. And uh, it's like the Bible says, if you seek the truth, the truth will find you. You'll get the truth. Uh, but don't. Don't look too hard, you know. Um, but here we go. Some more incredible space stories. And all going on in the scientific world today, involving the suppression of information, information deliberately held back from public view. It's a scandal that is cheating you of your ancestry and robbing you of many serious benefits. Hello. Misinformation is on a scale never witnessed before. Artifacts deliberately dumped in the Atlantic Ocean. Certain discoveries in 45 seconds. It seemed to be orbiting in reverse at an altitude of over 22,000 miles above the Earth. The, Black the name satellite. given to this satellite was the Black Knight. 
That's what it actually looks like. So, right off the bat, somebody out there wanted to make very clear that both Russia and the U.S. and everyone else knew that they weren't the first ones up there. For one thing, now look, folks keep telling you, I think I would know uh, about the maintenance and shit of these things. All of the fucking space shuttle is, is an oversized jet. It's got everything a jet has. It's just quadruple the fucking size. <laughs> wow. I mean, that's a major deception in itself right there. Look at fucking satellite following them. Okay, now we're getting Facts them. and monuments built on Mars. A Soviet scientist who defected to the West claims that photographs taken by an orbiting satellite clearly shows the ruins of temples that was once a civilization on the Red Planet. The 58-year-old scientist reports that the Soviet satellite was launched for Mars. It reached its destination in 1982. Its sole purpose was to beam photographs and other data back to a manned satellite orbiting Earth. The photographs are computer-enhanced and in full color, and there is no mistaking what they revealed. A city the size of Moscow, and it is ringed by wide boulevards. Huge temples, some still support slate gray domes that measure two to four miles in diameter. The so city is in ruins from aging and quakes. Of course, the Soviet Union would never admit to this incredible discovery because it would reveal too much of their technological progress. Underwater. Newspapers around the world also reported the belief of 30 U.S. scientists that the two photographs sent back from Mars in 1976 by the Viking spacecraft indicate the existence of an ancient civilization. <laughs> Folks. Oh. According to ex-CIA, Stan Deo, Stan Deo who was working on the secret government UFO projects, wrote about the hushed-up technology. Folks. That is a holographic plane right there, okay? It's one of those fucking triangular UFOs, see? And when it moves, you can notice the outline. Of these flying discs, there are underground bases all around the world, which include off-world bases, but some of these projects have been taking place. Stan also talks about compartmentalization. Bruce Cathy has written many books on many subjects, including... Like I said earlier, folks. You think they're parking these fucking craft on Earth? Or, hello, Google Maps? They haven't been to Mars? How the fuck did they get Google Mars? Now they'll probably tell you. It's a satellite. It flies. Go to Google Maps. Go to the top of the page and go to Google Mars. And you will see what I mean. Look at pretending a simple day surgery procedure. <clears throat> I watched look at this thing. You see these like uh like tiles? See it's like a a reptilian skin. Right? That's what makes that's the technology, that's what makes the plane invisible. 
each one of these tiles is basically like a device in its own. So like one of them goes dark, another goes dark, you know, invisible, and so on. All the stuff they found in the water. Now, the descriptions agreed with the 1725 discovery documents, and this all over the world there are ancient rock drawings, paintings. Say that again. Description of the Earth's surface from progress. This tiny golden replica of an ancient flying machine. Is Colombian. Oh. Folks, alien, ancient aliens tried to discredit so much of this stuff. This little gold plane that they found, they tried saying it was something else. A bunch of people did. Well, a couple of guys proved they replicated that out of wood and it fucking flew. Okay. Over a thousand years old. It was tested <laughs> in a wind tunnel. The aerodynamic styling resembles that of a modern aircraft. So now you know what things around the world they can't hide this tech. The first moon landings were blotted out to hide the artifacts left behind from our past visits to the moon. Some were even shot in the studio. The later moon landings were also blotted out, but this time to hide the activities from our advanced moon mining operations and colonization. They're planning something big. In fact, so big it will affect everyone on the planet. And at each pillar, the electric field Folks, I want you to take a real close listen and tell me if it sounds familiar to a certain group of people you know today. This implies that a single authority was directing a united world effort, a world order. The city of Babel, later to become Babylon, was a political center for world government. But political center for world government. Hmm. Political Center for World Government. By possessing such a global energy center, Babel effectively control the world. The egotistic founders of Babylon grew more and more wicked and mad until they thought in their hearts there were some sort of gods themselves. This quote from an ancient scripture. The arrogance of Babel became a scandal. Wars had started at some parts of the world and civil disobedience began. Then came the deluge. I don't know, folks, this whole evolution thing. I mean, I don't believe in it, but, I mean, come on, seriously. Do you think that cavemen were really that stupid? Number one. Number two, if they were really that stupid, where would they get the fucking intellect to... Rub two sticks together for so fucking long as to create fire. How did they know it would do that? Or was it just a fucking game they played back then? Rubbing two sticks together. Kinda like the fucking drugs today. You think some fucking crackhead was sitting around and just out of the blue he fucking makes a new drug. He makes meth. Come, come on, folks. You think some fucking addict came up with meth on their own? That is straight up fucking government drug creation right there. Some fucking poor schmuck who ain't got no job. Got his fucking welfare check under his boots. He's gonna... He's going to come up with a great idea now, right? 
undeniably one of the most authentic giant pictures in circulation today. This fossilized giant was discovered in 1895 by Mr. Dyer during a mining operation in County Antrim, Ireland. How tall you think those guys were? So, what led to this cataclysm? Only 3,398 years into... That's the cataclysm that they're talking about now. Or that I was well, talking about earlier. Well, lavishly before, and possess technologies far superior to today. So see, once upon a time, we were much bigger, we were much smarter. Uh, our IQs were like 180 on average. And... We've just, we just kept declining. And God's coming back for the same reason he could, did last time. All souls on earth have become corrupt. That's it for now. God bless and carry on.